One of the poltergeist stars, this time little Heather O'Rourke, the 12-year-old who scared us out of our wits with her performance as the youngest of the children in a house possessed. Little Heather died today, and the circumstances seem as unusual as they are heartbreaking. The only explanation so far is that Heather died of influenza. We have with us tonight Heather's manager, Mike Meyer, in Los Angeles. We'd like to thank you for joining us, Mr. Meyer. But before we get to you, let's take a look at Heather's work. Mr. Meyer, I understand that Heather was working on Poltergeist 3 at the time when she got this flu. What do you know exactly about what happened medically? Well, first of all, she, she had done the Poltergeist between April and June. Uh, what happened, it came up over the weekend. It was uh, completely mysterious, or not, not mysterious, but uh, unexpected. Uh, on Sunday, it seemed like she had what looked like a normal cold. Her parents made a doctor's appointment. Uh, there was no indication of anything being serious. And Monday morning, the plans were that they would go to the doctor and uh, then that she would go to school. And complications arose uh, when she got to the hospital. And the results of what you know, but uh, there was not a history of illness. She was a happy, normal, well-adjusted young person, very bright, very articulate. Uh, it, it just came out of nowhere. Now, what exactly were her symptoms, though? Was she running a high fever? Did, and what type of complications did uh, her symptoms cause? Uh, I, I really don't know the specifics of that. Uh, the family uh, with whom I've talked about uh, hasn't really been up to getting into that kind of detail. Uh, it was just a shock that came out of nowhere. Uh, Heather was a very special child. Uh, uh, she had started in commercials when she was three and a half. She had done the Poltergeist film when she was five and a half. She had a very long, successful career playing a wide variety of characters from a Russian girl to a blind girl. She understood and analyzed her characters. She appreciated the opportunity to perform. She worked very hard. All right, she Mr. Meyer, then let's take a look at some of her work. What do you look like? Talk loud, I can't hear you! Mom! Mom! Mom, where are you? Mom! Certainly a very talented, sweet young girl. Uh, Mr. Mari, did you have a chance at all to talk to her shortly before her death? Well, uh, I was always in contact with them, and we would always talk on a regular basis. All right, well, we thank you for joining us tonight, Mr. Meyer, and send our condolences to Heather's family. The geist who made that line famous has died. Doctors say Heather O'Rourke of Lakeside died of an incurable intestinal disease triggered by a bout with the flu. She was 12 years old. Heather captured the hearts of America when she was snatched by spirits in the Steven Spielberg film Poltergeist a few years ago. She also starred in the sequel and just completed Poltergeist 3 last summer. Heather was also a familiar character on TV's Happy Days in Webster's, but it will be the two lines from the Poltergeist movie she'll be remembered for. Heather is the second actress from the Poltergeist movies to die unexpectedly. Dominique Dunn, who starred as the teenage daughter in the original movie, was strangled by her boyfriend. Students at the Lakeside Area School where Heather attended classes heard the news this morning about the death of their friend. All the kids knew Heather, but it wasn't just because of her fame in motion pictures. Bill Pounder spoke with them. On almost every school day, Heather O'Rourke could be found looking at books or taking her literary class in this library at Tierra del Sol Middle School. Friends say Heather loved books, and she also loved her friends who treated her just like one of the girls, not just the star. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Aww. Yet Heather was a star after producer Steven Spielberg discovered her 
and placed her in the role as the girl kidnapped by angry spirits and poltergeists. She wanted to be accepted here as just a regular student, not as a movie star. She just wanted to be friends with everybody. And she thought of other people. She didn't just really cut, she didn't cut down anybody. And she was shy. Heather did stand out on certain occasions. She was excellent when it came to memorization and doing, she did a lot of poetry interpretation. Um, she was always the first one to volunteer to do extra work. She, and she very much blended in with the rest of the kids. She was the average little seventh grade girl. To most of us, Heather will be remembered as the child star in Poltergeist. To her classmates, she'll be remembered not just as a star, but the talented friend who died much too soon. I sort of think of her as a sweet person, not just a movie star, and that she's a friend. Bill Pounders, News Center 39. O'Rourke was born in San Diego. She was only five years old when she played her role in the first poltergeist film. Funeral services are... She was bright, articulate, and unlike most children her age, the 12-year-old actress who soared to fame as Carol Ann in the poltergeist films died yesterday. Anne McDermott reports. Heather O'Rourke was just five years old when director Steven Spielberg cast her as Carol Ann in the movie Poltergeist. She went on to star in Poltergeist 2 and had finished filming Poltergeist 3 when she died Monday at age 12. An official with the San Diego coroner's office said the cause of death was reported to that office to be the result of congenital stenosis or constriction of the intestine after the child went into septic shock. A source described that by saying her intestine burst. O'Rourke's manager, Mike Meyer, would only say that the child was thought to be suffering from the flu Sunday. At that time, her condition did not appear to be serious. She was taken to a San Diego hospital Monday. A coroner's official said she died there during surgery. O'Rourke's family is said to be in shock. Meanwhile, the child's former co-workers from the television show Happy Days, where she had a recurring role, were saddened by the news. She was a professional. She was beautiful. She wanted so badly to be a good actress. She <clears throat> maintained her own identity, and, uh, and she kept the child alive in her and consequently in those she worked with. O'Rourke's manager called the young actress a wonderful kid and noted she'd been president of her elementary school class, and others talked about the girl's ambition to one day become a director. The 12-year-old was the second actress from the movie Poltergeist to die unexpectedly. In 1982, Dominique Dunn, who portrayed O'Rourke's older sister, was strangled by a jealous boyfriend. O'Rourke's last movie, Poltergeist 3, is scheduled to be released this summer. And McDermott, CNN, Los Angeles. And the news continues. Who are you? No, uh-uh, I don't remember. The beautiful child star of such movies as Poltergeist has died. That cute little girl with the long platinum hair was very familiar to movie audiences, but we want to tell you more about little Heather O'Rourke. This 12-year-old was born and raised in our area, and that's also where she has died after suddenly being hospitalized. More now on Heather's illness, and along with a look at her short but very successful career from our Chris Saunders. America first saw a six-year-old Heather O'Rourke in the Steven Spielberg horror movie Poltergeist. She was the adorable flaxen-haired little girl who uttered the eerie words... They're here. Later, in Poltergeist 2, she said... They're back. Heather, then 12, had just finished shooting Poltergeist 3 in June. But Sunday morning, she woke up sick. Her parents thought she had the flu. Yesterday morning, as she got up to go to the doctor, she collapsed. She was rushed first by ambulance to El Cajon's AMI hospital in cardiac arrest. Then, she was life flighted to Children's Hospital. Doctors say Heather's intestine had burst. From an abnormality she'd apparently had since birth, but no one knew it. She died of a massive infection. This was Heather's room in her lakeside apartment, and it's filled with the things that she loved, her stuffed animals, and her personally autographed picture of Sly Stallone. Her parents say it all happened so suddenly that they really don't know what to say other than that Heather was a perfectly happy and well-adjusted little girl who wanted to devote her whole life to acting. The skies seemed to cry along with Heather's classmates at Tierra del Sol Middle School today, where she was in the literary club and didn't want any movie star attention. 
and then she left to go make a movie, and when she came back at the beginning of the school year, she was just like a regular student. Nobody even thought of her as Heather O'Rourke, the girl in Poltergeist. She was sweet, didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings, and she was delicate. You can hurt her feelings real easy. Heather was just a beautiful, sweet, loving, and delicate little girl. In 1982, at age six, she told PM Magazine about her favorite things. I like to bike ride a little. Mm -hmm. I swim a lot. And, you know, I play with my dogs. My dog. And I play with my um, dollies. Heather's older sister, Tammy, who's been in movies like Annie and Pennies from Heaven, said today to make sure to tell everyone one thing, that we love Heather and we're really going to miss her. Come back Tuesday on PM Magazine. The death of a child star. Good afternoon. It's 12 o'clock, and Heather O'Rourke, the actress who won over audiences for her role in the film Poltergeist, has died. She was 12 years old. O'Rourke was born in San Diego, and we're told she died at Children's Hospital yesterday. Her manager says the child showed flu-like symptoms and was taken to Children's Hospital, where she died a short time later. The exact cause of her death has not been released. O'Rourke was five years old when she starred in Steven Spielberg's hit film, Poltergeist. I don't know. I don't know. They're here. That line, of course, became very famous. O'Rourke starred in Poltergeist 2 and had finished a second sequel last June. She had also played a part on Happy Days and talked about her love for actor Henry Winkler in an interview several years ago. You know, He's, he's just a, a nice person, and, you know, I love him very much, and it, it's really nice to work with him.